Hi, this is Isha. You are watching a video with JustTutors.com. In today's video, we will be learning about the properties of whole number, where we will be working with associative property and distributive property under addition and multiplication. Let's work with these true and false questions for the warm questions. One is the smallest whole number. The statement is false because 0 is the smallest whole number. All natural numbers are whole numbers. The statement is true because whole number starts from 0. Then 1, 2, 3. So it covers all the whole numbers. 599 is a successor of 600. The statement is false because it's not a successor. It's a predecessor. Whole number 12 lies between 10 and 11. The statement is false because if you think of a number line, 12 lies between 11 and 13. Let's work with the associative property of addition and multiplication. We can rearrange the order of digits given so as to make our calculation simple. This is what states associative property. For example, if you are adding 2, add 4, add 6, to make your calculation simple, you can think about adding 4 and 6 at the first place. 4 add 6 gives you 10. And if you add 2 to 10, we get the answer 12. Though these are smaller numbers, if such numbers are bigger, then working with the associative property is really useful. You can think about this question. Here we are working with multiplication. If you are confident with 2 times 4, you get 8. And then you times it by 6. And then you work your 8 times table. Or you can work with your 6 times 8. That is 6 times table. To get your answer 48. You can also think about working for 2 and 6 at the first place. So 2 times 6 is 12. And what is left there is times in by 4. So 12 times 4 is 48. You can work either way you want to, depending upon how you want to make your calculation simple. Another question given here is, 36 times by 5. You can think about 36 as 2 times 18. That is, we are breaking 36 into its factors. Now, because it's 2 times 18 times 5, so I think working with 2 times 5 is a simple task because it makes it a 10. And working for 10 times 18 is much simpler. So we get the answer 180. Let's look at the distributive property. This is how we use the distributive property in the general form. And we are working for distributive property of addition over multiplication. If you don't see any sign between a bracket and a number, it means there's a multiplication sign there. So it's basically A times pi B plus C. And as you open the bracket, you get A times B and A times C. Because here we have plus in between. Here are two examples for you. 2 times by 5 add 6, where 5 and 6 are in brackets. We can solve this question either by solving the brackets at once. Or we can use the distributive property to work out the answer. Here are two more questions for you, which you can try. I'm trying 7 times 9 at 0. So 7 times 9 at the first place. Then a plus sign in between. And then 7 times by 0. 9 times 7 is 63. And then add a 0. So the answer to this question is 63. Similarly, you can look at the next question. 
some more practice questions for you to try on associative and distributive identity. Thank you for watching this video. For more, please visit justtutors.com. Thank you.